Hey, this is a video showing you my new recommended Cam Studio settings. I made a video, I think, yesterday on how to get Cam Studio and my recommended settings, but I changed them because I realized that those weren't really that high quality settings. So here's the new setting. Go to video options and get TechSmith screen capture codec. Um, it's a good codec. You can down if you had the Cam Stu Camtasia Studio trial, um, you'll it'll autom automatically have come with it. But otherwise, I'll post the link in the description and download that. Oh, sorry. And um, have the quality at 70. That's how I like it for a smaller file size. Press configure, and I like it up a better compression and have auto adjust on and drag it all the way to the bottom I know a lot of people don't use auto adjust but it's these are good settings so we like that and then audio options, audio options for microphone um, use whatever you're recording with, have it there and then 44.1 kilohertz mono 8-bit and that's good because 44 kilohertz is okay I guess and Mono is what you use for recording microphone. A lot of people use stereo, but you don't really use stereo for recording a microphone. That's when you're recording sound from your computer, like if you're playing a game. But don't use Cam Studio for recording a game. It's like just stupid to even think that. Okay, and I have Lame MP3 or PCM. You can choose whichever one you like. Um, I'll just use Lame MP3. And it's on attributes you should only have one drop down here and if you have more than one try to make it as close to that as you can okay and interleave every 100 and use MCI recording press ok you can have other options like cursor options you can like press high cursor which probably wouldn't be that good in like if I pressed high cursor you cannot see my cursor and that is like stupid if you're doing a screen capture if you're doing a screen capture so have show cursor on I don't like using these custom cursors they don't really have any good cursors like what's this one security yeah see so just use actual cursor and you can have highlight cursor on you can change the colors like to red or blue or something but I don't like having it on because I don't know if it shows it or not but it makes it harder you can like spot the cursor more easily but it makes it hard to see what the cursor is doing so I leave that off and another thing I have on is auto pan that's what makes it so it follows my mouse around the recording follows my mouse around and my auto pan speed I have it right at 100 it's not too fast and it just stays with your cursor at 200 like you can't even move your mouse without it going so I like it to keep it at 100 and that's like all the settings you really need to mess with all the other ones are optional like screen annotations or whatever annotations just like they're just there like edit text like put something like hey it says hey close okay and yeah so that's it just showing you those settings um see you later